In this video, we will create a sample program to practice using ProRealTime's programming interface. First, let's create a variable a. We then enter the equal sign, and we want to set a equal to the stochastic. So we will select the function library here, then search for stochastic. Select the regular stochastic here, and click Add. We see that the formula for the stochastic is automatically added to the program, and A is defined as the stochastic of 14 periods applied to the close. Now let's add a second variable, B, to our program. We want to define B as the moving average of 10 periods applied to our first variable, A, here. So to find the formula for moving average, we can again go into the function library here, and this time instead of doing a simple search, we can choose the category Pro Real Time Indicators and go down to Moving Average. Select it here and then press Add. And we don't want to use a 20 period moving average, so we just change that to 10 to make it a 10 period moving average. And we want to apply this not to the close, but to A. And so we just add that in our program here. To display a variable on the chart, we use the instruction return. We want to display both A and B on the chart, so I will enter return A, enter a comma, and then also B. Once our program is complete, we just click this button here to add the indicator to the chart. This will add the indicator right here in a separate panel below the chart and open the properties window here. Let's close that for now. And we can resize the indicator like this. Let's enter some comments in our code so that we can better understand what's written here. We can use this button to make a line of comment and then we can enter text to explain our program. For example, for this line, we could enter definition of the stochastic. For this line, we could enter moving average of the stochastic. Comments are very important as a programmer to help you remember what you have entered and why. And for someone reading your code, it can help them understand and interpret it. When you are finished with your modifications, you can click this button to add the indicator to the chart again, or click here to close the code editor, and then the program will ask you if you want to save your changes or not. Click Yes to save. To open again the code of a program you have saved, there are two ways you can do that. You can click on the indicator that's already added to your chart and click Modify Indicator, or you can go here to the Add Indicator button and search for the indicator that you've added. Here we've called this one Sample Program, and we find it right here, and then we can add it to our chart with this button. Note that every time you save an indicator, the previous code will be overwritten. So if you want to make multiple copies of a program, it's possible to do that using the duplicate function here. For example, I could click duplicate on this program and it creates a copy called sample program one. And we can go into this and modify it. And you can rename the program here as much as you want if you want to have multiple copies of the same program. If you want to find a certain indicator more easily, there are several ways you can do that. For example, within the list of indicators here, we can search for our program and we can add it to favorites. When a program is added to favorites, it will appear in the list of favorite indicators right here. Favorite indicators include both predefined indicators of the Pro Real Time platform as well as personal indicators that you may have programmed or imported. 
You can also organize your personal indicators by renaming them. The indicators in the My Indicators section of Pro Real Time are organized by alphabetical order. So if you want a certain indicator to appear first in the list, you can modify it, for example, and add a symbol before the name, such as this one. Click Add Indicator to Chart to save your changes. Then when you go back into the indicator list here, you'll see that it appears first. The other options available in this menu are new to create a new program, delete to delete a program, import lets you import .itf files which you can find on the ProReal Code website and in other places. There's also an export button here to export your programs which can let you share them. When you click export, several options are available. Exporting the ProBuilder Indicator sample program will create a file which can be imported into another workstation. And you can choose a level of protection for the file. If you choose the first option, the code will be fully editable. If you choose the second option, the code will not be modifiable by the person who imports it. And if you choose the third option, the code will not be modifiable and it will only be able to be imported one time. Click export to finish exporting your file. Finally, the add more will send you to the ProReal Code website where you will be able to download additional indicators.